Welcome to today's meditation on this Tuesday of Holy Week. Scripture tells us that quite a lot happened on the Tuesday of Holy Week. In Matthew's Gospel, the story of Palm Sunday begins in chapter 21. And then there are five chapters of parables and teachings before we get to what is believed to be the actual activity of Tuesday. And that is found in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 26, verses 1 to 13. Jesus had finished saying all these things, and he said to his disciples, As you know, the Passover is two days away, and the Son of Man will be handed over to be crucified. Then the chief priests and the elders of the people assembled in the palace of the high priest, whose name was Caiaphas, and they schemed to arrest Jesus secretly and kill him. But not during the festival, they said, or there may be a riot among the people. When Jesus was in Bethany, in the home of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume, which he poured on his head as he was reclining at the table. When the disciples saw this, they were ignorant. What a waste, they said. The perfume could have been sold at a high price and money given to the poor. Aware of this, Jesus said to them, Why are you bothering this woman? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will always have with you, but you will not always have me. When she poured the perfume on my body, she did it to prepare me for burial. Truly I tell you, wherever this gospel is preached throughout the world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. From this passage, we know that Jesus was aware of the timetable in his life, not only of the great tradition of Passover celebration, but also his destiny with the cross. Is it not amazing how the great celebrations of faith are held in tension with the reality of our daily lives? Even while Jesus and his disciples were talking about Passover and beyond, the chief priests and the elders of the people were conferring with the high priest Caiaphas to figure out a sly way to arrest Jesus and kill him. As part of the schedule, Jesus went to the house of Simon the leper for dinner in Bethany. Now, Jews were forbidden to eat with lepers. Simon probably had already been healed by leprosy, probably by Jesus, so it was okay for him to be there. Lazarus, who had been raised from the dead, and his sisters, Mary and Martha, were also at the meal. And while the men at the table, including Jesus, were there, a woman, probably Mary, sister of Lazarus, broke open that box of very expensive perfume. Complaints over what happened, and Jesus reclined at the table. And as we read, there was this action and a great waste of money. You know, I can think of times in my life when I have heard someone describe some action or deed as a waste of money, the cost of an elaborate party or a wedding, a vacation, and some people saw no problem with it at all, and others complained. But Jesus rebukes those making the derogatory remarks and says that she has done this beautiful thing. Have you ever given someone a gift or shown an act of of kindness or made a comment that offers that others would mock and they would say was wasteful or goofy or foolish only to have the person you sought to help honor you and stand up for you and say that it was beautiful, that they appreciated this something that was very special? Well, that's what Jesus did. Imagine the esteem it provided for this woman Perhaps Mary, the sister of Lazarus. Perhaps she wanted to honor Jesus' friendship or to say thank you for raising her brother from, to life or just to do something that felt right from the depths of her very soul. This woman's action became a part of the gospel story and is repeated her memory of her actions and her deeds and her faith story, just as Jesus said it would. So this Tuesday story reminds us that our lives are often intertwined with lots of events and happenings. Usually there is not just one thing going on. In the midst of terrible things, there are also things of honor and glory. 
a hymn that comes to mind this week for today is Lift High the Cross. And the refrain goes, Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore His sacred name. Come, Christians, follow where the Master trod, our King victorious, Christ the Son of God. Led on their way by this triumphant sign, the hosts of God in conquering ranks combine. Each newborn servant of the crucified bears on the brow the seal of him who died. O Lord, once lifted on the glorious tree, your death has brought us life eternally. So shall our song of triumph be, praise to the crucified for victory. Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore his sacred name. Would you pray with me? Holy God, when we awaken to each new day, there often seems to be some many different directions for us to go in. Nothing is simple. There are always lots of things in our mind, but often there will be one experience, one conversation, one image that will characterize that day. For this season of Lent and Holy Week, we thank you for the praises of children and youth, for their gift and our remembrance of the cross of Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen.